looks like I'm not the first one to show up. Hello there. No need to pay me any mind. I'll just be absorbed in my book here. I assume you've come to meet someone? As they've clearly not arrived yet, why don't you join me? Here. I, uh... Thanks. Hey, Linhart, you're into all that spooky magic stuff, right? Like sorcery and crests and whatnot? Yes. Why? Is there something you'd like to ask me? Oh, no. I was just thinking it's kind of weird that you've never really been interested in my power. Do you want me to be? Yeah, I mean, I don't even understand it myself. But with you helping me, I might actually learn something. That and Hubert scared me half to death talking about how you might experiment on me. Just so we're clear, I'm not into that. Uh-huh. Well, not everything piques my interest. Your circumstances simply do not. If you're not interested, then so be it. But is there any particular reason why? Hard to say. Perhaps because a sword is the only thing you're able to manifest? Strictly speaking, I suppose your power does raise some questions. But that sinister weapon of yours, it just doesn't leave me all that interested in learning more. Sinister, huh? That's one way to describe it. Tell me, have you ever beheld one of the hero's relics? They also possess the most peculiar aura. And yet, there's something almost divine about the terror they instill. But your sword? It's cold. Maybe even inhuman. In more complex terms, it's little more than an inorganic, dispassionate construct. Not a hint of the goddess's divine guidance in its design. It's not as if you were able to choose what you manifested, right? It just came to you. True, but what if I could turn it into something else and start manifesting different things? Would you be interested then? Is such a thing possible? I would like to see that for myself, I must admit. In fact, I'd be quite excited by that. What a fascinating topic to lay at my feet. your horses there. I'm not really sure I've laid anything anywhere just yet. But aren't you the one who brought it up? You wanted to talk, Monica? This is an interesting choice of location. I hear you've been going above and beyond lately. That you perform miracles each time you set foot on the battlefield. Why are you complimenting me all of a sudden? I mean, things have been going well, but... Oh, I assure you, I have no ulterior motive. You've helped me out a great deal too, after all. Even Her Majesty praises your fine work. She talks about you so much, in fact, I'm more than a little sick of hearing your name. Huh. She talks about me that much? Wait a sec. You aren't jealous, are you? <sighs> that wouldn't make any sense. Indeed, it wouldn't. Why in the world would I be jealous of you? After all, you are merely Her Majesty's subordinate. Your relationship will never transcend the bounds of master and servant. It will never reach the depths of meaning that Her Majesty and I share. You're totally right. We're not in the same league. What is this sudden attitude shift? You don't believe me, do you? 
It never even crossed my mind how irritatingly close you and Her Majesty are. Not once. Uh... Yeah, you basically just admitted it. I certainly did not. You did. You said you were jealous that Edelgard and I are so close. The word jealous never traversed my lips. You sure you're not, though? Perhaps... a little. That's what I thought. But so what if I am? I have always been Her Majesty's most devoted admirer. Hubert is one thing, but you... You're just a run-of-the-mill mercenary. To think Her Majesty has uttered your name more times than she has mine? It makes me want to scream my lungs out! You've been counting? Look, I'd probably come up a lot because we've been fighting together so much. Don't worry, Monica. Things will turn around once the war's over. Oh, being consoled by the winner only makes me feel even more like a loser. Oh, I can't believe it has come to this. I have no other choice but to ask for your help. Um, what's come to what now? I will just have to show you. Come on, let's go. Needless to say, that is the only logical course of action. Uh, excuse me, are you even listening? Uh, yeah, I totally am. You're gonna save this prince who's being held captive by some evil cult of sorcerers in order to restore House Nouvelle? Ah, that is not even remotely close to what I said. Where has your mind been this whole time? Creating new magic, charting unknown sorcery waters. Therein lies the means to make my dream a reality. To that end, I have decided that you will make a most fitting test subject for my research. <laughs> no thanks. What reason could you possibly have to refuse? Do you not want the honor of helping House Nouvelle regain its former glory? I don't mind lending a hand, but I'm not so keen on being a test subject. You don't even know what'll happen. Wouldn't it make sense to experiment on yourself first? Huh, a rather astute deduction for one such as yourself. However, there is one critical flaw in your reasoning. Were I to do as you propose, I would be unable to properly observe the results with my own eyes. <laughs> Well, then, you'll just have to be patient until someone volunteers. We'd have a big problem on our hands if something happened to me before the next battle, right? Actually, that probably goes for everyone. I suppose you are correct. But then, my research has reached an impasse! Hmm, I guess so. Okay, how about this? Since we're at war, why not try and distinguish yourself in battle? You could still conduct your research at the same time. Combat's more my wheelhouse anyway. In fact, we could even start right now with some training. What do you say? Uh, I respectfully decline. While I am not entirely opposed to the idea of military prestige, I am unable to accompany you at this time. Training at night will surely suffice. At night? But you won't have enough time if you don't train during the day. You're not planning on pulling all-nighters, are you? Oh, please! I am not that foolish! I simply do not wish to train at this very moment. Are you sure? I'm not trying to force you, but there's no time like the present. This is your dream we're talking about, after all. Are you just gonna give up on it? 
I appreciate the encouragement, but there are extenuating circumstances at play. Nevertheless, I shall succeed in all my endeavors, be they magical or military, and I shall do it all in my own way. <laughs> Ah, Ferdinand. I hadn't realized you'd return to the palace. Yes, here I am. Not that I have official business like you. Then why come such a long way? Ah, I see. You're here to visit your father. I am ashamed to say this was my first time seeing him in his cell. My father insisted I stay away from my own safety. Though I must confess, the dungeon was not the horrid place I had imagined it to be. I was envisioning, you know, fiery hot pokers, spikes, and that manner of thing. Oh. Then it may interest you to know that we do actually have such a dungeon. I've only seen it once myself. It's further down from where we're keeping the former duke. It's a dismal place. One where rats scurry to and fro. Rats? I do not imagine Father would cope well with that at all. While he did look haggard, it sounds as though his treatment could be far, far worse. We're doing our best to keep him in good health. The rest will depend on his frame of mind. Well, you will hear no complaints from me. I care only that he is kept alive and given a fair trial, and that his punishment fits the crime, of course. You'd better speed things along then, because Hubert is quickly losing patience. A fact of which I am very well aware. The problem is that I remain unable to connect my father to many of the acts he is accused of. Perhaps you're wasting your time. A noble as powerful as your father could easily have documents forged and witnesses bought off. Any records that remain will be considered far too dubious to prove guilt or innocence. Another fact I am very much aware of. In truth, I already found proof some time ago. Proof of his corruption, that is. I discovered it while looking through his tax records. When I realized what he had done, I was ready to serve him up to the authorities myself. Your own father? I'm surprised to hear you say that. I mean it. I thought I could carefully build a solid case against him while studying at the Academy. However, you had him clapped in irons before I could have my case organized. <laughs> now there is a bit of comedy. I idolized my father ever since I was a child. Yet I had to push those feelings aside in order to muster the anger to punish him. Now I find myself trapped between both of those emotions with no resolution in sight. I see. And tell me, is that the end of your story? I thought you were going to become Prime Minister, keep me in line, surpass me even. Oh, uh, well... I did not mean... You can still share words with your father and see him punished for his crimes, you know. So, if you desire resolution, start resolving matters. It's never too late. Battlefield are you headed to?
shall make my dream a reality. Now you'll see how hard I've been training. Starts now. Retreat? I don't know the meaning of it. Hey, wait for me! We will surmount this challenge together. Let's do this! Bad shape over here! So, what should I be doing again? I'll back you up! Just do as I planned! I shall provide some... Here I go. No mistake. I'll provide... <laughs> <laughs> They must learn. I'll use this 
Let's carve a swath through the battlefield. Watch this. This isn't looking so good. I'm dragging the others down. How does that please you? Here I go! I won't ever forget your kindness. If I do, me, did you? I won't let myself stop here. What did your investigation uncover, Hubert? It appears those who slither in the dark had nothing to do with any of this. This plot was hatched by Houses Regan and Gloucester alone. In other words, we know exactly where the idea to encircle our troops came from. Claude Von Regan, leader of the Alliance. He is going to be a true thorn in our side now that he is in charge. Back when Duke Regan had no clear heir, 
The lords were busy maneuvering to be next in line. Then Claude appeared in an instant and laid claim to the seat of power. We were hoping that would be enough to throw the Alliance into disarray. But he has done a remarkable job of seizing the reins. Feigning discord with Gloucester while they privately schemed together was an especially nice touch. Sadly, it seems we're facing a gifted tactician as well as a skilled leader. Yet for a tactician, he woefully underestimated Count Burglis. I say we finish his education. It is time Claude learns the gulf between his power and the Empire's cannot be bridged with a few clever tricks. I'm ready to be battling. For Lady Edelgard! Let's earn our keep. Victory awaits! Now but show me your courage! Do you want me to lay an ambush? Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Here I go. They must learn who I will gladly handle this. Orders. order not a problem 
I've got this. You know what they say about playing with fire. Watch this! Time to make a name for ourselves. Protection, Flame Spirit. No matter what, I will not misplace my heart. I'll stop here. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army.
Everything has its use. assist with any matters regarding the facilities. I may be of further service. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for qual- You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality, friend. 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 Hope to see you again soon. Welcome. Hey there, need something? Is this it? Is it?
There's no stopping me. Now you'll see how hard I've been training. Starts now. I'm Caspar the Iron Wall. Uh, sorry, kind of got caught up in the moment there. I won't let anyone stand in the way of our success. Here I go. No, they must learn who they're up against. So, sure, let's try it. Prepare to be amazed. Go! Don't mind if I do. Even death. Can't let it end like this. Success was to be expected. After this, of course I succeeded. Can't let it end like this. It's no use. We can't gain any ground. The spotlight is mine. This place won't be a problem anymore. You don't have to take things from here. Time to get going. So hard, was it? Huh? 
Shall we begin our attack? Allow me. This'll be a take a breather. We're done for. The rest is up to you. use of this. in my way. You're not half bad. This'll be amazing! Are you ready for this? Take a breather.
I've seen my share of battles, dear. I fear we've no time for battles. Oh dear, was that too much bravado? Not bad, but I'm just getting started. Taking this, thanks. Pay attention, class. I'm not really the defending type, but hey, a win's a win. me out, gentlemen. One day the war will be over.
Greetings. Welcome. Nothing but the best for you. 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 Is that the one? Nothing but the best for you. Nothing but the best for you. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. something a little more casual so I could roll in the grass. You are a completely different creature from me, and I never tire of observing you. Leave it to you. Are you fishing for compliments? <laughs> well then, I think you're someone I can rely on. <laughs> Would you cry if something happened to me? I mean, not that anything will, but... I'm curious. No. 
Today was even more exciting than I expected. And that reminds me, I actually found myself at a noble's tea party not too long ago. Oh, you must be talking about Ferdy, right? He does love his tea. Uh, no. It happened while I was doing some work as a bodyguard. The nobles who threw the party even gave me a cup of tea to show their appreciation. I didn't really know what to make of it, though. Hard to say if it was even good or bad. Understandable. Settings like that tend to choke the flavor out of any food or drink you happen to come across, among other things. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm built for all that fancy stuff. Hey, remember when I asked you to sing for me? You belted out a verse from one of your operas. It kind of reminded me of that tea. It's like, I just don't have the background for that sort of stuff. If you don't grow up in it, you're not gonna get it. Everyone has a right to those things, though. Taking in a tragic opera, letting an elegant meal dance across your taste buds. Nobody should be excluded from those pleasures just because they were born a commoner. It'd be good if that's how things worked. You think it's not? Take my time back as a mercenary. I would have gladly eaten a half-cooked rat if it meant I was getting food in my belly. It's only since I joined up with this army that my palate's become a little more discerning. What I'm saying is, if you never have the chance to eat good food, then you'll never know what good food is supposed to taste like. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but... In that case... Uh, Dorothea? Oh, sorry. I got a bit caught up in my thoughts there. But I think it might be just as you say. Will you indulge me for a moment? Sure. What's on your mind? When I first started singing, I did it for me. Only me. But it wasn't long until Manuela discovered my gift. So... I joined the opera company. It felt... incredible. I wanted the whole world to hear my singing. But once I became a songstress, I started attracting more and more attention from the nobles. Before I knew it, I wasn't singing for myself anymore. I was singing for them. Now you can't even appreciate my songs if you weren't born with a silver spoon in your mouth. I don't think that's true at all. Everyone can learn to love it if they want. The only reason I didn't understand was because I didn't have much interest in opera before now. So don't belittle yourself like that. Your singing is incredible, Dorothea. I appreciate that. <laughs> I really do. But I still can't help but wonder. go any results a good result <laughs> 